two extraterrestrial blobs reside in a peculiar region of our solar system. If you peered well beneath the surface of the Earth, you would see two enormous rock blobs encircling the planet's core like a pair of hands. The origin of these enigmatic continent-sized formations has intrigued and confused geologists for four decades. Some specialists believe that the enormous rocks are remnants of tectonic plates that were buried under the counterparts and are now stuck. However, new studies suggest that their origin might be extraterrestrial. A planet named Thea collided with the proto-Earth 4.5 billion years ago, and the result was the creation of our favourite satellite, the Moon. However, specifics of Thea's fate are still up in the air. Was it a hit and run, or did the mantles of the two planets combine? And why does Earth's core have blobs the other size of continents? Let's find out. Geologists discovered two enormous regions inside the mantle, one spanning Africa and the other beneath the Pacific Ocean, where earthquake waves encounter resistance and slow down. These are referred to as LLSVPs, or Large Low Shear Velocity Provinces. They could be described as extraordinarily bulbous mountains or mounds, but it's difficult to find an analogue for their unique shapes. And because of the controversy surrounding their appearance, they have been given the moniker Blobs. These blobs span thousands of kilometres and occupy 6% of the planet's surface area. There are various estimates of their lengths. One of them, known as Tuzo, is said to be as high as 90 Everests stacked on top of each other. The second, Jason, located underneath the Pacific, might rise 1,800 kilometers, or 1,118 miles, or around 203 Everests. Like two amoebas clinging onto a particle of dust, their deformed bodies are molded around the Earth's core. Importantly, deciphering the blobs may help resolve some of geology's longest standing puzzles, including how the Earth formed, what ultimately happened to the ghost planet Thea, and the puzzling presence of volcanoes in some parts of the world. They could potentially provide insight into how Earth will evolve over the next few millennia. They may look strange, but the mysteries surrounding how they developed, or even what they're comprised of, pale in comparison. Even scientists haven't figured out exactly what they're looking at, even though they are aware that something is happening there. The LLSVPs are breaking a fundamental law of physics if they are created from the same material as the rest of the Earth's mantle, which is another long-standing source of mystery. That is because the blobs appear to be both hotter and denser than the nearby rock. Consequently, it is hypothesized that the blobs are formed of materials with abnormally high concentrations of something heavy, like iron or nickel, as opposed to the surrounding rock. However, there are various hypotheses as to how this occurs. After that, it's a wild ride. For the longest time, scientists have speculated that the blobs could be millions of years old, dating back to a time when the Earth was still forming and the mantle, which is now comprised of solid rock, contained a vast ocean of molten magma. Some areas of this layer retained contaminants that had been mixed in when it was still a liquid, when the material started to solidify and crystallize. All these years later, they have remained in place, and together they now make up the odd LLSVPs. Even though the Earth's mantle is always gently spinning as hotter regions rise and cooler ones descend, an international team of geologists, including Steinberger, estimated in 2014 that this type of blob could easily survive 3 billion years. As students are taught in school, Earth's crust is broken into tectonic plates, which are constantly shifting and sliding over and beneath one another. Therefore, the blobs could have formed as the result of earthquakes. It's been hypothesized by some geologists that LLSVPs are formed from the fragments of crust that sink to the mantle's depths and create lumpy formations with a chemical composition distinct from the surrounding rock. A third theory holds that iron from the Earth's core somehow leaked into the mantle after the planet had already formed, 
and was integrated into the rock in certain places, which is how the weird blobs formed. However, this hypothesis is not widely accepted because there is now no clear reason why this might occur. Then, researchers from Arizona State University came up with a novel idea last year. What if the blobs were actually aliens? The Earth, the Moon and Thea are the three celestial bodies that make up our small region of the solar system, which is a little known fact. After crashing into our planet 4.5 billion years ago, the latter is now little more than a ghost. Thea, the impactor, was thought to be around the size of Mars and half the size of Earth today in early simulations. However, according to some recent studies, it may have been four times the size of Mars, or about the size of the proto-Earth. Regardless, most scientists concur that Thea's core, which is the densest component, fused with Earth's core swiftly after the collision within a couple of hours. For many years, it was believed that when Thea crashed with the young Earth, the Moon was formed with the resultant debris, which was primarily from Thea itself. This suggests that the Moon is made up of a large chunk of ancient Earth, which could have been knocked off our pale blue dots by a large impact. However, there are issues with this theory, such as the fact that Earth and the Moon have similar chemical signatures, suggesting that they were made of the same substance. Instead, they've come up with a different idea. Following its impact on the early Earth, Thea was assimilated into its mantle along with the rest of its internal components. While this was happening, the Moon was created from the fragments of the Earth that were shot out, not the extraterrestrial planet itself. Thea didn't completely meld with Earth, which was a jawbreaker. The majority of it was so dense that it was mostly unaffected by the mantle's currents. In fact, the foreign planet is still present in the Earth as lumps. It's likely that these are the LLSVPs and that there are still pieces of an alien world beneath our feet. In addition, it's becoming increasingly clear that Earth's weird blobs, no matter how far away they may seem, are impacting life on the surface. To begin with, they may have an impact on the geographic distribution of volcanoes. The majority of the world's most notable geological flashpoints are found above locations where tectonic plates collide and compete for space, such as the Ring of Fire, a 25,000 mile, that's 40,233 kilometers, arc of volcanoes around the Pacific Ocean. Strangely, certain vibrant regions deviate from this trend. There are six active volcanoes on the Hawaiian Islands in the North Pacific Ocean, as well as extensive lava fields and places where magma bubbles up almost constantly. This is even though they are safely located in the middle of the Pacific Plate, thousands of miles from others. Mantle plumes, hypothesized hot regions in the lower mantle where rock hotter than its surroundings rise up and create tree-like networks of vertical channels all the way to the Earth's surface are one explanation for this. They begin in the layer immediately surrounding the core, whose interior can reach the same temperature as the Sun's surface. Inexplicably, at these depths, ocean plates are denser than the surrounding rock. Ocean plates that sink into the Earth's interior eventually end up near the bottom of the mantle, where they form the blobs. These act as an insulating layer above the core, blocking the development of extremely hot zones that give birth to mantle plumes. Instead, they start to form around the edges. This results in mantle plumes in our own terrestrial realm that are 2,891 kilometers, that's 1,796 miles, above the boundaries of the blobs. It appears that the LLSVPs are encouraging them to grow in specific areas. If this is the case, it shows that these odd hidden structures are having a tremendous impact on our world, effectively determining where particular groups of volcanoes occur, as well as island chains they generate. Without them, the Hawaiian archipelago and China's Hainan Island would not exist. It's possible that the LLSVPs will have even more authority. 
For a long time, scientists have pondered the mystery of why Earth rotates on its axis at the particular tilt it does, or why the North Pole is located in the Arctic and not someplace else. The Earth's axis has remained largely steady for billions of years. Although various causes, including climate change, are thought to contribute to slight wobbles in either direction. The Earth's blobs are positioned precisely on either side of the axis, which raises the intriguing possibility that they either move there due to Earth's rotation or are influencing how it spins. Because the LLSVP's form are so erratic and ambiguous, it's difficult to determine exactly how they affect the planet's inertia. Though the deep Earth blobs remain a mystery, they are already set to shed light on some of our planet's other anomalies, perhaps even those of a long-lost alien civilization. Hopefully, we'll be able to peek further into the Earth to catch a glimpse of them in the future. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.